everyone, and welcome to an all new episode of Meet Mercedes Digital. Today, a very special Meet Mercedes AMG Digital episode. Today, we're going to learn all about the new Mercedes AMG E63 4Matic Plus and how the performance brand in Affaldabach manages to combine premium comfort with the driving dynamics of a genuine sports car. And to find out how just that was achieved, I now have the director of vehicle development right next to me. Thank you for joining us, Drummond Jacoy. Hi, Yasmin. Nice to meet you. Thank you very much for that warm introduction. You're welcome. Can I call you DJ? Yeah, that's that fine. Right? That suits me fine. Right. No problem. Thank you. Now, DJ, I did give you a very short introduction. Why don't you start out by telling us what it is you do mm -hmm. exactly at yeah. AMG? Well, AMG, my responsibility is that I am technically and commercially responsible for all of AMG, Mercedes AMG products. Mm -hmm. So I'll start from a very early stage from a concept uh, point of view. So when Mercedes starts a new car, we'll join in there and make sure that all of the attributes are into the, in the Mercedes that we need to make an AMG out of that. All right. And that, uh, I felt about we have the full digital capabilities, we have OEM capabilities, um, we start from a digital point of view with simulations, we have our own driving simulator, but when it comes down to the final touches, we use the test and proving grounds all over the world. Mm -hmm. For example, northern Sweden for an ice and snow, um, and the Nordschleife and the Nürburgring, the famous ring right. for, to get our driving dynamics just right. Today we're here in Immendingen, and in Immendingen we have capabilities, we have an oval, we have comfort uh, for ride and handling. So we have everything there to just give the E63 its final touch and to make the E63 a further success story as the long story of this vehicle in the history. It is a long story in history. So when did this success story begin? And is there such a thing as a forefather, you would say, of the E63 we know today? Well, very much so. Um, in 1988, uh, Mercedes-AMG brought out the hammer, the famous hammer. And from then, we've done a long, long history of uh, cars in this line. All right. And that's where it basically all started. So we've come a very long way from the hammer. What would you say was your focus set on when it comes to the update of the E63? Well, basically, we concentrated on three main things. The first thing being a, a large design revision, so update the design, make it more dynamic, uh, just get it updated. Right. Second point of view is we wanted to add to more comfort. Um, the car is very dynamic, it's driving dynamics, so track performance are incredible, um, but we wanted to add a bit of a smoother touch to it just to give the customer a bit more of the, of the band with from very comfortable car to a very very sporting and dynamic car and to round things off we put done a lot of work on the interior with the new steering wheel in there we've got the new telematic system in there all in all a very very round package in my opinion a very round package and the combination of a lot of different exactly. uh, important elements mm -hmm. we're going to take a look at that right now you've yep. made us curious and i think it's time to have a look in the flesh what do you say dj let's give him a spin let's, let's go for it spin. thank you Take a look at these babies. Yasmin, you know, that's the first time I've seen these cars in their natural well. environment. Yeah, because we're usually oh camouflaged God. and the development. And here in its natural environment, it's absolutely amazing. Wow. Beautiful. Let's go have a look. Yeah, sure. Shall we? Yeah. Come on. Where do we start out? I mean, Give me the quick rundown, yeah, what's sure. the main highlight? Exactly, well we've basically completely redesigned the front end of the car. Right. The initial thing you see is their new headlamps. They're much, much flatter, they're much more dynamic. Mm -hmm. Then moving on to the center area, we've got this uh, our AMG specific grille right. with the vertical loops, which is the signature of, of, of AMG. Moving down onto the lower area, we've got the jet wing design um, down here with the side flaps and the visible uh, cooling system, which we need to cool our V8 powertrain. And when you speak of V8 powertrain, then of course we noticed that here you held on to the power yes, domes. Yes, yes, <laughs> we, we love the power domes. They're the, like natural muscles out of the bonnet area. And we've also kept the side, the wide side fenders um, from the specific AMG. All right, let's check out the rear end. Let's go, yeah. I understand yep. there have also been changes here as well, of course. From the, from the rear end, we have redesigned the new tail lights, which is the first initial thing you see. They're also much, much flatter, much more dynamic. Mm -hmm. And if you take a closer look, you'll see how much detail has gone into the design of the specific yeah. lamps. Then also here, moving down, we have redesigned the tailpipes mm -hmm. and redesigned the center diffuser to round off that dynamic view. 
dynamic view when we look at the vehicle on mm -hmm. first sight it is a very sporty vehicle yes. so does that mean that those dynamics you speak of that they dominate in every aspect not in every aspect uh, from the exterior design as we've just spoken of yes very much so but from a technical point of view uh, one of the engineering aims was to create more comfort in the car so we have we've held on to our top end dynamic capabilities mm -hmm. and added more comfort uh, this was a customer wish from from that point of view and at the moment the the e63 e is probably the pinnacle of this um, this spread between comfort mm -hmm. and sporting dynamics. I might have to check that out myself. No problem. What we've, do you got, say? we've got one here. Why don't you hop in this nice blue May estate? I? I'll right. hop in the sedan and then we'll take them for a spin. Let's do it. Okay, let's go. Well, Yasmin, that is pretty special sound, and the sound comes from our uh, V8 twin turbo engine. And in the version we're driving now, we've got 612 horsepower, um, and the engine is pretty special because it's built in a Faltebach by the in the one man one engine principle. That means that uh, one mechanic builds the engine from scratch straight up to the finishing point, and he guarantees for the quality of that engine by putting a plaque with his signature on top of the engine. When I say 612 horsepower, you don't have to worry about it because it's uh, in this car we have our 4Matic Plus drivetrain which is extremely drivable and we've worked a lot on the engine application and it's become even more smoother than it already was. And of course, I mean moving away from the mechanics or from the, from the engine, you realize immediately that the interior has been updated as well and I really love this detail, the steering wheel, the new design, beautiful. Yeah, that's, the, that's our new AMG steering wheel, the sports steering wheel. You, you can see in the top, you've got all of the control units, so you can control the whole user interaction of the car without taking your hands off the wheel. And the speciality of the this one is it's our next generation AMG switches on the bottom left and right hand side where you can see. Um, on the left hand dial, you can change the attributes of the car for example from manual to automatic or the change the AMG dynamics and on the right hand side right. Uh, you can see the the switch to change to the driving dynamic program so what for example why don't we change now from comfort to sport plus and see how the car reacts all right let's do it The throttle as well as the steering wheel have become super responsive. Whoa! Yes, this is fun. Glad. That's it. And uh, it's not just the throttle and the steering, the whole car setup has now changed. And that is the beauty, that is the DNA of the E63. That this, the capabilities it has is from a top end performance car now in S, Plus, which has amazing track capabilities. And then from by the flick of the switch to, to comfort, you can have the long distance comfortable business sedan. So speaking of which, speaking of comfort, is that something we can also try out right now? Yes, I've got so maybe a good place where I can show you a good example. Why don't you just follow me around? All right, I'm right behind you. Oh, wow, that is bumpy, DJ. Yeah, well, it is in Sport Plus, so flick the switch back to comfort. And right. you can experience the precision and with no loss of comfort whatsoever. All right, so at the mere switch of a button, I have the comfort of a comfy estate and a race car if I switch back at the same time. How about if we go back to Sport Plus? Let's do that and grab a helmet and get on back on the handling course. All right. Okay, let's go then. All right. Let's move back to Sports Plus to experience the full capabilities. Right. All right, I'm in Sports Plus and now I can really step on it, right? Woohoo! That's it. <laughs> yeah, the handling of the car changes and you can really feel how in the background we've got our AMG Dynamics working for us. The AMG Dynamics controls all of the systems of the, of the driving systems of the car, steering, um, suspension, all the way through to the 4Matic Plus. 
<clears throat> and for some real fun on the track we can use we can use that or even go up to race or to even over to drift mode like this Yes, mean where were you? <laughs> you know what? It got a bit wild back there. Okay. I had to take a break. But where were you? Sorry, I kind of lost you. Um, I must admit, I had some fun on the back end of the track. Oh, yeah, uh, we could tell. Yeah, sorry. I was just trying out our dynamics and I couldn't resist a, a drift mode or two around some of the corners. <laughs> oh my God, he says it like it's nothing. Well, I didn't do that. I was okay. a bit scared. So what but, did you think of our car today? You know what? I had the best time and okay. I had the best day today. And my favorite part is actually when I stand outside of the vehicle, the yeah. new color. Yeah. I'm loving this blue. Well, that's a special color. Um, up to the moment, it was reserved for our GT model range, and now we've opened it up for our E63s. Right, lovely. Okay, so what did you experience on your way back over? Well, I mean, uh, to be honest, I think we've got a really good package here. We've got the design uh, update on the outside. We've mm -hmm. got all the new uh, stuff on the inside, MBUX, fully integration of the AMG features. And what is really cool is we've achieved our development goal where we wanted to keep on hold of our AMG driving dynamics to the utmost standard, but we've given it just that extra bit of comfort. I think that's going to hit our customers' wishes straight in the heart. Thank you for a fantastic day for all of this insight, and I hope to see you again soon. Thank you very much Thank for your company. Thank you so much. And thank you as well for joining us, ladies and gentlemen. And do not forget to join us for our next exciting episode of Meet Mercedes Digital. Until then, make use of our Mercedes Me Media platform with all of the photos, press releases, videos, and basically anything to satisfy your journalistic needs. All right, so have fun doing that. And until next time, take care. <laughs>